And now, WWE Network presents Elimination Chamber Kickoff. Oh, and the countdown is flat out on. Welcome to the city of Brotherly Love. We have made it to the final pay-per-view stop on the road to WrestleMania. The WWE Universe continues to file into the Wells Fargo Center, and they've come here for one reason, and one reason only, to see that demonic structure we like to call the Elimination Chamber. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to the Elimination Chamber kickoff show. I am the coach, and over the course of the next 60 minutes, we're going to get you set for a night that will change careers. Over the course of the next four weeks as we head to WrestleMania, tonight is going to be the night that shapes that entire journey. Let's get to know our panel. To my immediate left, the lovely and incredibly talented Charlie oh, Russo. What a dress! Say more, Coach. Talk to me. Oh, Talk to me. How are you? I'm doing great. You know, I am so excited to be here. Elimination, Cha Elimination Chamber is going to be off the hook. We already know that. But as you just mentioned, we are literally four weeks to the day away from WrestleMania, and I cannot wait. Also, want to give it a shout out to all my favorite ladies out there because it is International Women's Day. It also is apparently everybody gets a big press release when they come back to oh, the yeah. company day, too. Let's welcome to my right from Hot 97, from the Yes Network, from the Michael K Show. What or doesn't he work? Uh, ESPN, Rosenberg. don't forget the oh, yeah, four letters. My bad, just, just a little place. Thank you, guys. You know it's WrestleMania season. Mindy Rosenberg's baby boy has returned. <laughs> the boyhood dream realized. Seriously, I'm so thrilled. Four weeks away from WrestleMania, and what a night tonight. I'm so excited to see what Shayna Baszler does tonight. We'll and, get more to that. And in a Coach, did you say when everybody gets a press release, you mean only this guy? Only him. He's the only one. Only one. Even the best dressed <laughs> man in the company, David Otunga, did not get a press release. Welcome, sir. How are you tonight? I'm doing very well, and I like what you said there, the best dressed man. Yeah, I need to get one of these press releases too. But it is Elimination Chamber. I'm looking forward. I want to see who's going to walk out of that chamber as the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Oh, a lot to get to. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Well, he's the only one that gets a press release. <laughs> and guess what? There's only one place you can watch Elimination Chamber, and that is on the WWE Network. So everybody, right now you have one job. It'll only take but a second. Head on right now to WWE Network. Dot com and sign up because Elimination Chamber is free for new subscribers. That's right, absolutely free. But it doesn't even stop there. Guess what? This is the best deal of all time, literally the best time of the year to sign up for the WWE Network because not only do you get Elimination Chamber, but you also get next month Showcase of the Immortals, the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. That is free for new subscribers. But we know what's going on in Tampa. Let's talk about what's going on in Philly tonight, Coach. Oh, well, because that's going to shape what happens in Tampa. And how about this? The Elimination Chamber is one thing with six individuals, four pods. How about 12 individuals and the SmackDown Tag Team titles on the line? What do you think is going through the head of The Miz and Morrison right now that they have to defend their titles and don't even need to be pinned at the end to be eliminated and lose the titles? Come on! Well, it has been also less than a week since the Monday Night Messiah Seth Rollins and his disciple Buddy Murphy fell to the Street Profits, losing their titles in the process. Tonight, the cocky duo squares off yet again against Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, looking for redemption and also to reclaim the gold. Well, how about this one? A three-on-one handicap match for the Intercontinental Championship. And it almost seems, everybody, like it's fair. Braun Strowman taking on these three, Shinsuke, Cesaro, Sami Zayn. And here's the catch. Whichever of these three, if they're successful and they can pin Braun Strowman, whoever does the pinning will walk out the Intercontinental Champion. And Drew Gulak, he is convinced. He has found several holes in Daniel Bryan's game. Upon hearing Gulak's critique, Bryan welcomed Gulak to come exploit his so-called weaknesses firsthand by meeting him face-to-face -face inside the ring tonight at Elimination Chamber. And that match will open up tonight's big pay-per-view event. But sometimes, Charlie, there are just matches that you know are going to be great. You throw in a no DQ uh, stipulation, well, it's going to be even greater. Aleister Black, AJ Styles, that's all I need to say. All he needs to say, Humberto Carrillo looking to secure the biggest three count of his career as he takes on the United States champion with a serious mean streak, Andrade. Andrade has proven he will stoop to the lowest of levels to get what he wants. So, does Humberto have what it takes to become champ, or will Andrade have just one too many tricks up his sleeve? And finally tonight, another Elimination Chamber match, and the winner, what a prize, facing the man, Becky Lynch, at WrestleMania for the Raw Women's Championship. Now, only two of these six have ever been inside this Elimination Chamber. Certainly an advantage there. But whoever faces Becky Lynch at WrestleMania, well, we know they will have earned it. 
It is by far the harshest of detours. No one leaves the Elimination Chamber the same. There is nothing on it that doesn't hurt. This is a match that could shorten your career, but oh man, is the prize so great. The last superstar standing faces Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's title at WrestleMania. Shayna Baszler, Asuka, Natalya, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan. With those six superstars in the ring at the same time, it will be combustible. Hey! In my future, I am moving on to WrestleMania. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. I'm coming after the Raw Women's Championship. There are no friends inside the Elimination Chamber. chamber match is held in a cage. I'm going to chew through every other competitor in that cage. Bite me! Oh, hell is broken! WrestleMania is on the line. It's all about who will earn the Raw Women's title opportunity. It's Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. Are you ready yet? Because uh, we are. Ooh. So as we look at the Elimination Chamber and this crowd is pumped, let's take a look at the rules for the Raw Women's qualifier tonight in the Elimination Chamber. Here's what it looks like. Uh, begins with two women in the ring in the chamber and four other women enclosed in their respective pods. Now, at regularly scheduled intervals, a pod door will open at random. The women don't know who will come in the match next. This process will continue until all pods are empty. If at any time a woman is pinned or submits, she is eliminated and must exit the chamber. When we have one woman left, we know who will face the Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. And who better to help us discuss the yes. Women's Elimination Chamber match than one of the very women competing tonight in the chamber. We've got Miss Ruby Riot. How are you doing tonight? I'm, I'm doing good, I'm feeling ready. Good, okay, well, earlier in the week, Ruby, we got a chance to talk on Monday Night Raw. I know there's been a lot of follow-up between the former Riot Squad members, you, Sarah Logan, Liv Morgan. Tonight, those are also two of the competitors who will be inside the Elimination Chamber with you. Do you feel like those might be two of your biggest threats? Look. I'm not gonna discredit Liv Morgan or Sarah Logan. I mean, they're products of me. I taught them everything they know. So of course, they're gonna be a threat. But I came back to put Liv Morgan in her place. And as we all saw last week on Monday Night Raw, Sarah Logan needs to be taken down a few pegs too. So I'm gonna put them both in their place, the rest of the women, and then I am going to secure my place at WrestleMania, standing across from Becky Lynch, for the Raw Women's Championship. I like the confidence. Ruby, one thing that concerns me about you tonight is there's so much talk about the Riot Squad and you, Liv, and Sarah. I feel like some of the attention maybe should be focused on Shayna Baszler, who's an absolute flesh-eating monster, apparently. Yeah. Um, and she's in the Elimination Chamber tonight, too. Do you think you're a little distracted with the Riot Squad? Look, I know you all have your favorites. I know the WWE Universe has their favorites. But I've been in this position before. For the last three years, I have been within arm's reach 
of my WrestleMania moment. And now, <laughs> just, I, I can't even understand why I've been overlooked for so long. I watched the Elimination Chamber panel last year, and every single person on that panel, whether you were there or not, only spoke my opponent's name. They forgot about me. But I'm sitting here right now to show you why you can't forget about me, why none of those women can forget about me, because I'm in charge. I run this division, and you're going to find out why when I enter that chamber tonight. Well, Ruby, I have a question for you. So your former Riot Squad members, they're the only two with any chamber experience. So you're stepping in for your first time. Are you at all concerned about the structure itself? <laughs> From what I've seen, obviously, that chamber, it's an unforgiving one. And I know my former teammates are the only two that have any experience in it. But they relied on each other. They have always relied on other people to get them where they need to be. But I work best alone. So if I'm standing in that pod alone with the world against me, it doesn't matter what surrounds me. The only thing I need to do is get through that to get to WrestleMania. Your confidence is clearly where it should be. Absolutely. Your focus is where it should be. We wish you all the best tonight. We know it's not going to be easy a night for anybody, so good luck. Thanks, Coach. That is Ruby Riot later tonight. She'll be a part of that Elimination Chamber match. Uh, and the winner will face Becky Lynch, the man, for the Raw Women's title at WrestleMania. And like we said, whoever wins this match in that chamber, they will have earned it. We continue. You think you know me? The rated R superstar! Edge is here! An emotional homecoming. <laughs> the disastrous twist. Oh, oh my god! Tomorrow night. Edge is back on Raw. What will happen when the Rated R Superstar comes face to face with Randy Orton for the first time since the Viper's malicious attacks? Raw live tomorrow night, 8, 7 central, only on USA. Okay, we continue on the Elimination Chamber kickoff show and the, the chamber is just very ominously behind us, just waiting for those two big matches uh, later on tonight. But guys, there's so many uh, different things that have popped up in the last couple of weeks. Certainly the return of Raw, or excuse me, the return of Edge at the Royal Rumble. And then you fast forward to what happened between him, Randy Orton, his wife, Beth Phoenix. What do you make of this as we head into tonight? Uh, I, listen, I'll, I'll tell you right now, I'm enjoying nothing more than watching what's playing out between Edge and Randy Orton, and I am waiting with bated breath to see what Edge has to say. I mean, we, Edge has been on the shelf now for a minute since he uh, took what he took the night after the Royal Rumble, and now we've seen what happened to Beth. Oh. So you think about the situation Edge is in, there's a ton of pressure, and by the way, the inspiration that Randy Orton has gotten from Edge being around, this guy has a battery in his back like I mm -hmm. haven't seen in years. This is the best, most dangerous Randy Orton that I've seen in years. I can't yeah. imagine what, what Edge is feeling too now after we saw everything unravel on Monday Night Raw. I mean, I don't even know what he's what's going through his mind right now. David, as a competitor, sometimes you need something to get you fired up after all these years. And to Peter's point, maybe that's what's happening with Randy Orton. Yeah, and it very well could be. And like you said, this is the best. I'm not even going to say best because it was despicable what he did. This is the most dangerous Randy Orton we've point. seen in some time. Randy Orton is arguably one of the most skilled people in that ring and when he's motivated there's nobody better that's I haven't seen him motivated like this in a long time that's the thing about Randy Orton everyone knows it's in his blood right he is as natural a performer as we've ever seen in in this business period but when does he get motivated who inspires him and apparently Ed showing up at that Royal Rumble has inspired and made Randy Orton a very dangerous man all right we'll leave it right there go ahead all right well uh, we have another elimination chamber match to discuss for this evening that is for the Smackdown Tag Team Championship so here to help us break down and discuss that upcoming elimination chamber match none other than the Smackdown Tag Team Champions Miz and Morrison hello gentlemen hey what's up how you doing? How you doing? Okay, so... How are we doing? Oh, I don't know. We have to defend our titles against 
10 superstars inside an elimination chamber that? in our first title defense, mind how, you. How often does that happen? I mean, I've where you never defying the odds, I guess you could say. You've been defying the odds your whole career. I have. No one thought he'd be WWE champion. Boom. Now look, now WWE champions, we're gonna be like the Spartans. Beat the crap out of a whole bunch of Romans, like Cortez when he conquered South America. You know, Cortez, Spartans, Ms. Morrison. Guys like History us. lesson for you. I used to define the odds. Uh, Was there a question? Yes, is there, there question? is a question Who for cares? you. So yeah. you just talked about it's your first title defense. This comes less than two weeks after you won the tag team titles. And now not only are you having to defend them against some of the best tag teams in all of WWE, but also inside the Elimination Chamber. Are you ready for this? How prepared do you feel? This is what Miz and Morrison does to the tag team division. That's your we question? elevate oh. every Every single superstar, every single brand, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, they all wish they could be this type of tag team. Whether it's the past, present, or future, Miz and Morrison are tag team wrestling. You stand close enough to stars, you're gonna get a little bit of that shine, is what Miz is saying. Ooh, look, talk about shine. This thing just slipped off my shoulder. All right, all right. Uh, John, when you got you're a real listening. Coat. John, I have all a I have a question for you, John. Yeah, uh, you, you have a lot of uh, chamber experience, three times uh, to be exact. Three times? But yeah, but it's been nine <laughs> years. <laughs> it's been since 2011. Do you think you're prepared to get back in this demonic structure? I was prepared nine years ago and prepared now. The demonic structure has changed a little bit. The chamber is is taller, and I was looking at it today. I was like, oh, it's a lot bigger than I remember. But <laughs> by um, the way, look, how dare I'm you? I'm a little bigger than I remember. Sit there and say that M Morrison might have a little rust, or second guessing Morrison us? might not be ready for the elimination chamber. Going into He's the paper, born ready. I'm that always is ready. What I, we do. Okay. We are always ready. Ever ready. We overcome the odds. Like a battery. We don't care if. You're throwing out pancakes in your chin. <laughs> because we are Miz and Morrison. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Fully charged. Miz and Morrison. What is Hey, 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 hey guys. I got another question. I, I got to say that when we're out there at the end of the chamber holding the title. So. <laughs> hey, forg yeah. forgive Rosenberg because personally, I didn't Rosenberg. see any rust. I didn't see any rust at Super Showdown. No. I thought you guys were perfect, titles, perfectly no in sync. Um, my question is for you, John, you've been away for some time. You came back, you picked up with The Miz like you guys never lost a step. So my question is, what is it about The Miz that makes you guys click so well together? Go ahead, you know I don't know, but I'll say this. You, uh, everyone's got friends in their life that you sometimes <laughs> talk to every day, you sometimes don't. Miz and I kept in touch all these years, but when we came back, it was like we picked up right where we left off, you know? And that's why we're ready for this chamber. We are ready for the chamber. We are ready for every single tag team. We are ready to prove that why we are the greatest tag team of the 21st century. <laughs> All right, Ms. Morrison, we know oh, yeah. the countdown continues. Uh, gentlemen, we'll let you go get ready, and we wish you nothing right, but luck, the guys. best tonight in the Elimination <laughs> Chamber. Be <laughs> very All right, let's move on. Can't wait to see those guys compete later tonight. Uh, but let's go back for a second, if them. we could. <laughs> it's hard to, it's, 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 let's go back to if Raw, to and we AJ called it the Styles, gauntlet, and Alistair Black to, to get to, to guys, AJ Styles, he had to go through Carl Anderson, Gallows, what did you make of the gauntlet and what Alistair Black was able to accomplish on Monday night? I, I mean, this is, this is nothing new if you've been following Al Alistair Black's career, this is who no, he is as a competitor. To to and to me, to what's so exciting about Luke this Gallows. is for him to have a matchup with AJ Styles on a big stage like the Elimination Chamber. This is a big moment, and is Aleister Black ready for it? Because AJ Styles, you know, is ready for a moment like this. Well, we know that tonight, that Aleister Black and AJ Styles will go one-on-one. -on -one. And get this, it's a no disqualification match, which means anything goes. Brutal. And David Otunga, Alistair Black better be ready for anything. He better be, but the main thing is he knows to expect anything tonight. And uh, look at this, little message to The Undertaker here. Yep. And that's my concern. Is he too focused on The Undertaker? Well, that's a very, very good question, but this is a match that a lot of fans in the WWE Universe have been talking about. Alistair Black, this is arguably the biggest night of his career. Does he have what it takes to step up to the plate against one of the absolute best? Three separate attacks, AJ Styles, and not once did I say die. And that was when the rules applied. Now, tonight is a no disqualification match, which means there is no one 
to save you. Not your friends, not you, no false idols. No, you are all alone. And for someone who has been alone and fighting alone his entire life, it is my pleasure to introduce to you how true loneliness will feel. It's certainly a laser focus from Aleister Black. And David, I'm going to start with you. Uh, clearly, it's a big opportunity for Aleister Black. This is, a, this is a big stage. This is a very big stage. This is a huge opportunity. But Aleister Black has proven time and time again he's ready for this. He's the real deal. I thought he looked super impressive going up against the OC. He had to run through all of them mm -hmm. and still was impressive against AJ Styles. Tonight, he knows what he's up against. That's the thing. He knows what to expect. And I mean, you heard him. I didn't hear one ounce of fear, one ounce of intimidation in his voice. But he does realize that this match likely isn't just he versus AJ Styles. I mean, this is him versus AJ Styles, Gallows, and Anderson, most likely. But exactly, that's my point. He knows that, he realizes that, and he's not intimidated. Mm -hmm. So obviously, he's game plan for that. He's Still looking ready. forward to it. Talk, let's talk about it from a confidence standpoint, because when you take on one of the all-time greats, Peter, and you step in there, you've got to raise the level of your own game. Where do you think Black is right now with that? Well, well first of all, I love that you said that, because you need to say it louder for the people in the back. AJ Styles is one of the all-time greats. You're talking about a surefire first ballot Hall of Famer, and Aleister Black is an emerging star and one of the great talents in the world, but is he prepared for a, sure, a surefire first ballot Hall of Famer in AJ? Here's what I think. You do have to worry about the OC. However, is AJ Styles, you saw what he did with that pin. Is he thinking about what happened in Saudi Arabia? Is he thinking about The Undertaker? Of course he is. And could that distraction affect him? It, it, it's too fresh. It has to just a little bit. We'll put a pin in that right there. But that's certainly a match tonight that I think everybody feels could actually steal the show. Switching gears now. How about the Intercontinental title on the line tonight in a three-on-one Handicap match, Braun Strowman taking on these three, Shinsuke, Cesaro, and Sami Zayn. Whoever is able to pin Braun Strowman, they would walk out the champion. But that is easier said than done. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the Intercontinental Championship. Shinsuke Nakamura defends against Braun Strowman. The monster wants the Intercontinental Championship. He's never won a singles title in WWE. And now a cheap shot by Zayn. And Cesaro trying to sneak in from behind. And now the exposed turnbuckle. Nakamura off the turnbuckle. Running power slam. Strowman wins it. He's the Intercontinental Champion. The one thing that I haven't been able to do as a WWE superstar is hold a singles title over my head. That is until now! We are here to demand an honorable rematch. Defend my Intercontinental Championship anytime, any place. I don't even care what's in this contract because at the end of the day, I know I'm gonna have to fight you three clowns anyways, and I'm totally fine with it. So give me the damn contract. I'm signing it. So what you're saying is you're willing to fight all three of us? It's official. The Intercontinental Championship match at Elimination Chamber will now be a three on one handicap match. What makes you think you're going to make it to Elimination Chamber?
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest, the intercontinental champion, the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Braun, later tonight, the odds are against you. Are you prepared for Shinsuke Nakamura, Cesaro, and Sami Zayn's three-pronged attack? Look, Kayla, I don't care how many superstars Sami Zayn shows up with in his clown car tonight. I am ready for everyone. Are you not concerned that maybe the numbers are too much? Look, Sami Zayn is a loudmouth clown. Now, Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro, on the other hand, they're two of the baddest dudes in WWE. But I've worked four and a half years to win this championship, and I'll be damned if I'm just going to let somebody take it. I don't care if I got to fight three guys, 300 guys. Anyone that comes for my title is going to get these hands. Did Braun Strowman, just look at the guy. I mean, you just have to look at him to know how powerful he is. He's one of the most dominating superstars in all of WWE history. But I want to ask you the same question that Kayla asked Braun. Could the numbers end up being too much for him to handle tonight? I mean, they very well could. I mean, you take a guy like Cesaro. He is arguably one of the strongest pound-for-pound -pound mm -hmm. guys. Shinsuke Nakamura, who's also phenomenal. And then throw in Sami Zayn as well. Now, Braun obviously appreciates what's in front of him. And obviously, I mean, as you said, he's worried about the numbers. One-on-one, -on -one, I think he's got this. But now... I think they might be able to work something out and take advantage of him and get one over. And the one thing I'm concerned about with what Braun said was, don't sleep on Sammy. I, you know, right. while, you're, while right. you're looking at Cesaro and Shinsuke, there is a wily, smart, annoying pest named Sami Zayn <laughs> who could come Nailed in there and it. steal the title. And let's not forget, there's pressure on Braun Strowman tonight. This is his, as dominant as he's, as he's been, Charlie, this is his first singles title reign. Mm -hmm. Think about the disappointment if he loses the title tonight four weeks from WrestleMania. However, that's extra motivation for him, though, to keep it. I mean, and we've all seen what Braun Strowman can do, incredible feats of strength, flipping over limos, trucks, ambulances. I mean, if this guy gets his hands on one of them and takes him out, I mean, that, that could be it. Well, they put him through the announce table just a couple of weeks ago on SmackDown, and what'd he do? Got right back up. He is a rare, rare type of superstar that we've never seen before, but I like the fact that it feels like, to me, the Intercontinental title really means something to Braun Strowman, right? And, and he, he's at a point that clearly he wants to take out these three, but that title means something to him. Yeah, and that's something you love about Braun Strowman is his respect and appreciation for the business and what that title is. That's the title of Macho Man Randy Savage, yeah. Brett the Hitman Hart, Shawn Michaels, um, uh, Razor Ramon, so many. And he respects that. And like I said, with it being his first title, think about how much that means to him. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me you don't think he's thinking about the idea of holding that title and another title? Oh, believe me, Braun Strowman loves the IC title, and he's also thinking about adding another one to his collection. All right. Well, why don't we leave it right there? But certainly, uh, unexpected would be one word that we could use to describe that match uh, later on uh, tonight. Now, uh, last Monday night on Raw, we saw something that you don't really see very often. Brock Lesnar down, courtesy of Drew McIntyre. Don't boo me! It's going to get squashed! All right, so guys, out comes Drew McIntyre. Clearly did not want to stand in the back and listen to Paul Heyman. What did you make of this confrontation? And then ultimately, what happened? And then he walks right up to Lesnar, which I love to show in. He doesn't have any oh, fear. Oh, boom! Claymore! That's one. Yeah, exactly. That's one. <laughs> yeah, there, right? there are more where that came from. I don't know if I've ever seen Brock go through something quite like this on Monday Night Raw. Boom! There's two. What do you think, Peter, this did for the confidence of Drew McIntyre? Everything. This is everything Andrew. for Drew McIntyre. I mean, think about it. If you're Drew McIntyre and you're looking at Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, you need to build all of the confidence you possibly can and three as you head more towards. Will do it. Yeah. Exactly. And we now know part of WrestleMania is already set. In fact, this is something we're all looking forward to. Brock Lesnar, the champion, taking on Drew McIntyre one-on-one. -on -one. You talk about a legit heavyweight battle. That's what these two are going to bring us in Tampa.
And another big showdown we are all waiting anxiously for as the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble match, Charlotte Flair had her choice of which title to challenge for, and Rhea Ripley in her NXT Championship caught the Queen's eye. So on April 5th at WrestleMania, it's gonna be Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley live on the WWE Network for that NXT Women's Championship. And John Cena showed up to Boston in his words on Twitter to say goodbye. What ended up happening caused, his to, caused him to want to go back to WrestleMania at least one more time. Cena one-on-one -on -one with The Fiend, Bray Wyatt in Tampa. We are crossing the bottom of the hour as we continue to count down to the top of the hour here on the WWE Network and the Elimination Chamber. We are live at the Wells Fargo Center here in Philadelphia. Now, all month long, WWE and Coke Energy have been asking our fans to show up and tag in for a great experience at WWE events all across this great country. Well, I have a very special treat for all of you tonight. I've been texting a really good friend of mine to see if he might come out here, show up, and uh, join us at the desk. And I just heard back. Oh my gosh. Just moments Who ago. Who is it? So I am honored and privileged to bring out one of the favorite superstars in the WWE <laughs> Universe today, R-Truth. R-Truth, welcome <laughs> to the kickoff show. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, What's yeah. up, baby? Bro, thanks for having me here, man. Bro, I don't know which one of y'all invited me, but I'm like excited. This one. It was me. This one. You, it was me. You was texting me, right? Bro, I'm excited y'all got me here. I get to come represent. I watch my childhood hero, John Cena. Take on The Fiend tonight, WrestleMania, right here. You know uh, what I'm uh, saying? No, 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 no. Wait, that's what oh, I'm that's talking that's about, that's dog. That's not R-Truth, that, that's next month, not tonight. Yeah, this isn't WrestleMania. You know that, right? Why y'all running all the graphics about WrestleMania? No, this we're we're promoting, promoting the show. Per look, per look, per you, you can yeah. see that it's, it's Elimination Chamber. My bad. Next month. That's what I was, that's what I was telling y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 it's next month. Yeah, all right, it's next month. Okay, cool. Yeah, you <laughs> met right. Peter Rosenberg before, right? I'm uh, Sam, Roberts. No, no, no. Uh, our no. truth, we texted this week also. Remember, you, you hit me up about coming on Hot 97. You were going to promote the new music you have. We texted Set this week. Set it off, right? But y'all trying to trick me. No, we're not. No. Peter Rosenberg from Hot 97 was going to do my music was. You don't have to hit with the music. That's, that's me. That's him. That's me. That's I'm not Sam, Sam Roberts. No, I'm not no, Sam no. Roberts. He has... No. The, the a curly lot of hair. hair. Did, yeah, a lot of hair. Didn't you see the press release? He was coming back. The who? The press the, release. There was a big press release that Peter Rosenberg was returning to WWE. We texted two days ago, Truth. Are, are you who, messing with your us? Who's your provider? <laughs> <laughs> who's our provider? <laughs> right, I'm not getting I didn't get his message. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm, you mean our Verizon? Verizon. I think Verizon. They, was, they was in green, right? <laughs> no, I was blue. I was blue. I'm an iPhone. I was he's, blue. He's got a burner phone. <laughs> a burner phone. Your phone got a virus, man. I'm not getting it. Uh-oh. I'm just I'm not so getting confused. it. You know what I'm saying? I'm so help confused. me. Help me help you help me. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll figure it out. We'll okay. figure it out. Uh, so it's elimination chain. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, Mark Truth, you just saw what we saw with Brock, and we know you've had a recent history with Brock Lesnar. Right, and right. What Drew McIntyre did, what did you make of, of that? Okay, um, Brock is a mountain of a man. He, Brock ain't no joke. But Drew McIntyre has been, he's been making everybody feel his presence. Mm -hmm. Not only are they feeling it, I'm starting to believe Drew McIntyre will leave WrestleMania the WWE champion. Wow. Bro, oh, I mean, like, wow. look what he's doing. To Brock. It's hard to argue that. To, he's doing that to Brock, bro. Mm -hmm. Duck. Yeah. Ma'am. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Roberts. Rosenberg. <laughs> <laughs> you know, come oh, on, you man. You already know, I know. It's Brock Lesnar. Right. At least you got your name right. Right. Uh, why wouldn't he? Uh, look, We're you're actually an important friends. Man. <laughs> Kayla. Look, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, Brock is pretty much like, he got his hands full. His plate is, is like, Drew has been running through everything here. He, he's running the house right now. But you've been around. You know, isn't that the way WrestleMania is supposed to be? Your biggest test on the biggest stage? Yeah, but not with Brock Lesnar. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. Okay. Not with Brock. This, this is a whole different game right here. So, like... We're going to find out. But you think if anyone can take him down, it's, it's going to be Drew McIntyre. Oh, I, believe, I believe Drew right now. Okay. Don't y'all? I think I do. After, you not after witness we saw what he's been doing? Yeah, now, I mean, he's not scared. Now, no. Truth, we weren't able to link up at Hot 97. So can you tell me now a little bit about the new music you got going on? Oh, man, the new music. I um, already did over a million views on Worldstar. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, uh, almost had a million on YouTube. Congrats. It's running real good. What's real the name good. of the song? Set it off. Okay. Said, I appreciate that, Sam. Come on, 
meant? No. no. Rosenberg. <laughs> there you go. Robert Peters. Yes. Got you. Robert <laughs> Peters. Correct. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate got the you. love. And I got to get the hot 97. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yes, I got you. Not WrestleMania, but after just, the just, elimination. Just chamber. hit me in your text. Text okay. Sam Roberts, and I will get you on hot 97. We'll let you two figure that out. Our truth The blue tape. Appreciate it. Thank y'all. All right. That, of course, is our truth And if any of you out here did not know, WrestleMania is not tonight. It's a month from now. Uh, so I just thought I'd clear, clear that up. Now, a couple of weeks ago at Super Showdown, well, it was all about Goldberg and putting the new title right on his shoulders. But then on SmackDown Live two weeks ago, it was all about Goldberg and Roman Reigns. It's all about who's next. I'm next. So a man of few words made it very clear. And you know Goldberg's not backing down from this challenge. And Roman Reigns, he has made a career out of big time moments at WrestleMania. Peter, what do you make of this one-on-one -on -one title? Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm excited for Roman Reigns. I'm excited to see Roman Reigns not Goldberg block off. That's what I'm excited for. I'm excited for this moment for Roman. I really feel when you think about everything Roman Reigns has been through over the last couple of years, and now the moment that he has coming up four weeks from today, mm -hmm. this is a huge opportunity. Listen, I respect Goldberg. I do. The history is there. We all know. Listen, his name's Goldberg. I'm Rosenberg. You know I got love for Goldberg, all right? <laughs> I got love for Goldberg. But at the same time, this is Roman Reigns' yard. Mm -hmm. This is, this is, he cannot lose to Goldberg at WrestleMania. Think about that. How do you turn around the next day? This is a place that Roman Reigns has run for years now. So I think this is a really big moment for Roman, and I'm excited for him, and I'll be honest, I'm a little biased. I'm rooting for him, it's, too. I, I have to um, jump in here. It's a huge moment for him. I kind of feel the same way as you. I'm rooting for him in this as well. However, we can't look past the fact that Goldberg defeated The Fiend. I mean, I haven't seen anybody I was put not the expecting Fiend down that. Like, no, me neither. So this makes me look at Goldberg a little bit differently. He's a little bit more dangerous than I initially gave him credit for. And already, I know how dangerous the man is. When he did this to Brock Lesnar, he explained why he has to do it so, so quickly. And then he, he did afterwards on social media this week. He explained, if I don't get to them quickly, then at this point in my career, I don't really have a chance. So it's got to be fast. Mm -hmm. And when he's fast, he has the right game plan. It works out pretty well for Goldberg. Again, one-on-one -on -one for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania against Roman Reigns. Now, last week on Raw, we had really a feel-good moment. Some newcomers that people absolutely love. Whew. And a little help from Kevin Owens, and we would have new tag team champions on Raw. David, what did you make of this match against Seth Rollins? Oh, man, I mean, Murphy? this was great. I mean, so here we have the Street Profits are rolling. Seth Rollins, look at this. Stunner for you. Thanks for coming. And look at this. Montez Ford knows exactly what to do. Thumbs up. Here it is. Look at the height. And, and, watch, and watch the reaction. Watch the reaction in Brooklyn, too. I love this. Love this moment. Well, you can't clearly help, the crowd be loved it. For these guys. Yeah. Long time coming for that. So the celebration was great, and then they quickly realized that when you're champions, everybody, you've got to defend those titles, right? So right. it's going to happen tonight against Seth Rollins and Murphy. It could be a very, very short-lived title reign if they're not laser-focused here uh, tonight. Peter, what do you make of this immediate rematch? Well, first of all, people were so hyped in Brooklyn for the Street Profits win that they had to turn around and fire the Nets coach, Kenny Atkinson, for no reason yesterday. <laughs> I saw Appar that. Apparently, you people. Mean, you make the playoffs, you get fired. You get fired, middle of the season. So, whatever. You miss your two best players. So, apparently, people were very hyped off the Street Profits. Now, here's the thing much like I talked about potential distractions for AJ Styles, I'm worried about Seth Rollins' distraction, too, thinking about Kevin Owens. Are you thinking about the Street Profits, or are you thinking about KO, who has Seth Rollins crisply, firmly mm -hmm. in his crosshairs? You can tell Seth Rollins is a little bit in his own head right now. I got a chance to talk to him immediately after their loss on Raw, and he is emotionally on a whole different level than I know I've ever seen him before. So how do you think that's going to play into tonight's match? I think that's definitely going to play in where, you know, Seth needs to be laser-focused, like you said. But 
I don't want to take anything away from the Street Profits. I mean, these guys have worked hard. They've looked great consistently. And I think this is their time because they've matched up great with uh, Rollins and Murphy every time I've seen them, even in the singles matches, like Montez mm -hmm. Ford matched up great with Rollins. I think this is their night. I think there's going to be a Red Solo Cup celebration. I couldn't agree with you more. Listen, these guys spent like four or five months basically hosting Raw every week, entertaining us, <laughs> talking it up, having fun with the Red Cup. They got their chance to shine, and they went to Brooklyn. They took advantage. They're your tag champs. This is their time, man. Uh, but it's a completely different animal. We all know when you're the champion or when you're not. Exactly. All right, it's time to get things started in the ring here on the Elimination Chamber kickoff show. Let's sit at the ringside. Tom Phillips, the King, and Byron Saxon. Gentlemen. Well, Philly's about to get the smoke indeed, but tonight two Elimination Chamber matches here. The first time ever the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view emanates from the city of brotherly love. On top of that, four championship matches to go down tonight in Philadelphia. Tom Phillips, Jerry the King Laurel, the Hall of Famer, and Byron Saxon King. You've called so many of these Elimination Chamber matches. What are we in store for tonight? Well, uh, everyone is different. And I, I tell you, being here in Philadelphia, we're in store for, these are some of the craziest fans in the, in the entire, entire nation. So I don't know what to expect because when these fans get going, they will get these athletes uh, all fired up. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be special. And just about 19 minutes remaining until the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view begins streaming live on the WWE Network. Uh, the here Cassidy we go. crowd still filing into the Wells Fargo Center here in Philly. And we're set for our first action of the evening. Oh, oh boy. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 590 pounds, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders! Byron, the kickoff panel was just discussing the reigning Raw Tag Team Champions, the Street Profits defending against Rollins and Murphy later tonight, but when you talk about former Raw Tag Team Champions, you gotta talk about the Viking Raiders. Well, the Viking Raiders uh, lost the Raw Tag Team titles now almost two months ago. Two at the time, Seth Rollins and Murphy, and you know a win tonight will get them right back in the hunt towards regaining that championship glory. Eric and Ivar, two of the growing number of superstars who continue yeah. to stand up against Rollins, Murphy, and the AOP. Yeah, that's a big mistake. And their opponents, the team of Kurt Hawkins and Seth Ryder. And here comes another former Raw Tag Team Championship team in Ryder and Hawkins. And this is an important time of year to realize what Hawkins and Ryder accomplished last year. Remember, this team was on a tragic losing streak for quite some time, especially Hawkins individually. Then they got to WrestleMania last year and won the Raw Tag Team titles, stunning the WWE Universe. King, you know it better than men, anybody. Anything can happen this time of year. Well, you're right. That had to be one of the biggest upsets in the history of the WWE last year. But uh, what do you think their chances are tonight with these Viking Raiders? It's going to be an uphill battle, King. But what Hawkins and Ryder have in their advantage in their corner is the fact that they've, they've dealt with the peaks. They've dealt with the valleys throughout their careers. And this is certainly a chance to reach that next peak. Can you imagine what it's like competing with the ominous elimination chamber just looming over top of the ring? It's giving me anxiety, I know that. So here we go, this is Zack Ryder to start things off against Eric of the Viking Raiders. I'd have enough anxiety just competing with two guys that look like these Viking Raiders here. They should have been born in the dark ages because they look bad in the light. <laughs> oh, there you go. Scary. And now Ryder trying to turn things around here on Eric, just so powerful. Oh, and driving Ryder to the canvas. Man, the intensity. That's the thing, the Viking Raiders only know one speed. As we mentioned, the Raw Tag Team titles will be defended later on here in the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view as Hawkins tags in. Also, the SmackDown Tag Team titles will be defended inside the Elimination Chamber itself. Oh! oh. If you're a superstar and you know we're just minutes away from competing inside that Elimination Chamber, what kind of Whoa. thoughts, what kind of butterflies do you think are floating around? Oh, oh man! Hawkins 
faring just about as well as Ryder did against Eric moments ago. Well, you know, I've been around this, uh, Byron, I've been around this business for a long, long time, but that's one of the few things that uh, I've never had the uh, pleasure of experiencing, being no, inside one of those. Oh, oh and oh. Hawkins, Hawkins oh. signaled to Ryder, caused a distraction, and trying to get one up here on oh. Eric of the Viking Raiders. The belly to back suplex, hand in the face, and a kick out, and Byron, it, Got to say, I'm surprised to see this kind of tactic from Ryder and Hawkins. Yeah, that, 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 that's a product of the experience that Ryder and Hawkins bring to the equation. I mean, these two have been friends, have been partners off and on over the last 16 years. And it looks like they're finally wising up. Oh! Neck breaker to Eric. Here's the cover, hook to the leg, and a kick out. Byron, is it experience or are they disgruntled? This is not a team that commonly that bends the rules, that tries to break the rules. Well, it's a mix of both. Listen, we all talk about how rare it is to get a tag team title opportunity here in WWE. So if you now have an opportunity on a stage like this to get recognized, to get a victory, yeah, you might do some things you normally wouldn't. And you know, both Ryder and Hawkins, they've gone out of their way in the past to try to please the fans, try to put a smile on everybody's face when they come out here. But that don't win matches. This is what wins matches. This tag team match continues. These six superstars will step inside the Elimination Chamber. The last superstar standing faces Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's title at WrestleMania. Those six superstars in the ring at the same time, it will be combustible, I can assure you. Becky Lynch is fixated on one other woman in this match. I'm going to chew through every other competitor in that cage. I'll be watching closely and rooting for you. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. And back here on the Elimination Chamber kickoff show later tonight, the Elimination Chamber match for the Raw Women's title opportunity at WrestleMania against Becky Lynch. Who is the hungriest of the six superstars who will be locked inside the Elimination Chamber? I love when you use the word hungriest. <laughs> and uh, we heard Shayna Baszler say that she's going to chew through the competition. This is going to be scary, I tell you. Uh, she's going to have to less than... Oh, Nine minutes until the Elimination <laughs> Chamber pay-per-view begins streaming live on the WWE Network here in Philadelphia. And a big right hand from Eric. He's got a chance to make it to Ivar. Hawkins, great wear with on the tag in Ryder. Here we go. Out. And now big Ivar, 300-pounder, slamming Ryder into the canvas. Here comes a wrecking ball. Boom. Oh. Flattening Zack Ryder. This is how you change the pace of a matchup. Oh. Ivar is a game changer, that's for sure. The seated center. Oh my gosh. And the cartwheel drops Hawkins. Well, that's how he rolls. <laughs> Look at this guy. Big clothesline by Ivar, and the raid is on. Oh no. Oh. He's up Ooh. in the corner. Great job by Ryder. Uh -oh. oh. And the rough rider inadvertently to Hawkins. That did not uh -oh. work. Oh. It's about to get worse, gentlemen. Eric, if it can get any worse. Eric drilled him with the knee strike. Oh. And now the Viking oh. experience. Cover. Viking Raiders victorious. Here are your winners, the Viking Raiders. Well, certainly not a repeat of last, last year's WrestleMania performance from uh, Hawkins and Ryder. Uh, this is uh, a clear reminder to the entire Raw Tag Team Division that the Viking Raiders are still a threat. Watch this, this knee strike. This changed the whole thing, watch it. And listen. Oh! Right to the face, down went Ryder, who inadvertently took out Hawkins earlier. That gave the two-on-one opportunity to the Viking Raiders, and the Viking experience spelled the end for Hawkins and Ryder. The Viking Raiders set the tone for what will be a brutal Elimination Chamber pay-per-view tonight. All right, all right. Ooh. Brutal's a great word that Tom Phillips just used to describe tonight in Elimination Chamber, but those two guys 
they can be brutal too. I tell you what, I would not want to become come face to face with the Viking Raiders. Yeah. I know that much. I, I feel for Hawkins and Ryder. You see, <laughs> what, what, what am I doing on the Sunday? Oh, this is what I'm, I'm getting. Good. I'm good on that. A beat down. <laughs> All right. Well, the evening's already off to such a great start. We have so many awesome matches on deck for the WWE Universe, including two Elimination Chamber matches. Look, Philly is the place to be tonight, but we know not everybody can be in the house with us. So guess what? There's only one place and one place only to watch the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, and that's on the WWE Network. So everybody right now, head on over to WWENetwork.com and sign up because Elimination Chamber is free, F-R-E-E, -E, for new subscribers. And not only that, but WrestleMania next month, the showcase of the Immortals, the best thing to happen all year in WWE is free for new subscribers. But let's talk about, Coach, what's going down in Philly tonight. Uh, yeah, let's start with the women because this is going to be incredible. The winner faces the man, Becky Lynch, at WrestleMania. These six, only two have ever been inside an elimination chamber. They will battle out. Only one will walk out with a chance at Becky Lynch. And look, just last week, we saw the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, and his disciple, Buddy Murphy, fall to the Street Profits. They lost their tag team titles in the process. And tonight, these two duos come face to face once again with Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy looking for redemption and also to reclaim that gold. Oh, and Braun Strowman, you heard him right here on the show. He said he doesn't care how many people it is. Tonight, it's actually three on one. Cesaro, Shinsuke, Sami Zayn. Whoever pins him would walk out the champion if that happens. And Drew Gulak says he has found several holes in Daniel Bryan's game, but upon hearing Gulak's critique, Bryan welcomed Gulak to come exploit these so-called weaknesses by meeting him face-to-face -face inside the ring tonight at Elimination Chamber, and that's going to kick off the show tonight, Coach. There are some matches that don't need a whole lot of describing. This is one. Aleister Black, AJ Styles, no DQ. Enjoy WWE Universe. And Umberto Carrillo looking to secure the biggest three count of his career as he takes on the U.S. champion Andrade tonight. Does Umberto have what it takes to become champion, or will Andrade have one too many tricks up his sleeve? And the other Elimination Chamber match tonight, oh, it's six men. SmackDown, Smackdown Tag Team titles on the line, Miz Morrison. They just got back on top. What a hard, hard road ahead for these two tonight. Woo! I cannot wait for any of these matches. It's going to be so much fun, but everybody, I need to remind you because time is running out. There is only one place to watch Elimination Chamber. That's on the WWE Network. So everybody, right now, head on over to WWENetwork.com and sign up. Elimination Chamber is free for new subscribers, and it does not stop there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is truly the best time of the year to sign up for the WWE Network because not only do you get tonight's pay-per-view, also next month, WrestleMania will be free for new subscribers, but look, if you're not convinced, watch this. This is gonna be one hell of a ride. I think bigger, I think better. We're gonna make a little history. What do you got there? I've never seen anything like this. What a time to be alive. But it's been an incredible journey that we've all had together. You feel like you finally found what you've been looking for your whole life. You have so much content that you could connect to. I can feel there's magic in the air. Hey! I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. I'm white knuckled the whole time. I was watching it and I was like, dude, that's bad ass. Exactly. And the next generation has arrived. This is our kingdom! It's been the wildest ride ever. Everything has led up to this point. We'll see where we go after this. Exciting start to the action. And now please welcome my guest at this time, the United States champion and his business manager, Andrade and Zelina Vega. Andrade, tonight you're defending your title against Umberto Carrillo, the man who pinned you this past week at Monday Night Raw. Yeah, and yeah, hold, on, hold on a second. Your question neglects what actually happened. Your question makes it seem like Umberto, fair and square, pinned the United States champion. And that couldn't be farther from the truth. 
even though you and even WWE's Instagram make it seem like it's some kind of redemption for Umberto and Rey Mysterio. So let me set the record straight right here, right now. Last Monday, Rey illegally entered the ring and kicked Angel Garza into Andrade. And I'm sorry, but that, that collision of Mexican superstardom was just too much. And it hurt Andrade. And what the ref should have done was wave the match, but he didn't. He asked Andrade, did you want to continue? And Andrade defiantly said, I'll never quit because I'm the champion. And, and out of sportsmanship, Umberto should have just stopped the match because if he was a real man, he'd want to beat the best. But he didn't. He took advantage of an injured man. Because we both know that Umberto couldn't climb to the top rope and actually hit what might be WWE's best moonsault today on a 100% Andrade. No. And he is going to prove that tonight. Now, <laughs> don't get me wrong, Umberto's success, it will happen. But I promise you, it will never be at Andrade's expense. Este es mi tiempo. Yo soy la nueva cara de los latinos. Humberto, I hope you're smart enough to quit tonight. Boy, they are ready for that United States title on the line. There you can see we have filled up the Wells Fargo Center Elimination Chamber just minutes away. The Raw Women's title is on the line for those in the women's side. But the SmackDown title's on the line. What a match. 12 men, only one winner. It's Elimination Chamber tonight, Oos. Six teams enter. One team survives. And who's going to be? Roll call. Who we got? Lucha House Party. No. Heavy Machinery. No. Dolphin Rude. No. Uh, Miz and Morrison. No. Them boys the New Day. No. But I know who it is going to be. Who's it going to be, Oos? The Oos that got the juice. Yes, sir. And tonight is locked down. Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary. Oh, one thing I'm seeing tonight is a whole bunch of superstars locked and loaded and ready to go. The Usos, you've got to consider them one of the favorites in that demonic 12-person elimination chamber match. They're, they're my pick. They're my pick. You, you give me a circumstance in which the odds are stacked or they're dealing with something dangerous and terrifying and demonic, as you said. That is the situation where I always lean Usos. The, the way they work together, the way they handle big spots. Uh, I'll go Usos right now. Uh, who are your favorites, David? Uh, you know, obviously, yeah, the Usos. However, there's another team in there, the New Day. I got to go with the New Day. I mean, I think Big E's size and strength are going to factor in and be a huge positive for them. Plus, let's not forget, this is one year removed, Kofi Mania. Come on, man. In the chamber, how are you going to go against the New Day? You can't. And by the way... And we're just going to sleep on heavy machinery? I'm not sleeping. No, no, I no sleep. Pick one. Come on. No sleep. I will say this. To add to your point, David, Kofi, the most experienced chamber combatant in that chamber tonight. He has been there many, many times, five times. Should have been a six, but Edge took him out back in 2009. This man knows his way around the chamber. And let's be honest, don't we just want to see the New Day and the Usos go at it? Because when those guys go at it, it's magic. It's magic. No, it really it's, is. It's absolute yeah. magic. All right, we're fickle. Okay, we are just about set. We're less than a minute away. And tonight, history will be made when the SmackDown Tag Team titles are on the line inside the Elimination Chamber match. But also on the other side, you've got Becky Lynch ready and waiting for the winner of the women's match. There are certain nights that add to a career, can define a career, can potentially end a career. Tonight is about the ultimate belief in yourself and the ability to beat not one, but many. This is a special night with a special structure in a special city. Settle in. The Elimination Chamber starts, and it starts now. Let's go.
As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. This is unfair to Miz and Morrison. Miz and Morrison are livid. Miz and Morrison's first tag team title defense inside the Elimination Chamber.